Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve here. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it now, smash the like button to help this channel out. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a product which I didn't think I'd ever need to use. Well, my car uses CarPlay, but it requires me to connect my phone to the cable every time I get into the car. And that's quite cumbersome. So hopefully this product will solve that issue. So the product I have here today is the EKIY uh, CarPlay Wireless to Wire Adapter. I bought this on AliExpress for $40 Canadian. And there's not too much special about it. It's a Bluetooth 5.0 device. And we're going to be doing an unboxing of it to see how it fares and connects to my car and whether or not it's worth it. This might be something for you if your car does the same, meaning that you have to connect a cable to your phone in order to connect to the CarPlay system. Hopefully this makes it wireless and you can keep your phone in your pocket or in the cup holder and it will simplify things uh, for you. So let's do the unboxing. I bought this from AliExpress. So the box here is pretty simple. It says EKIY wire to wireless adapter. Uh, it's for CarPlay and Android audio. However, I believe this version is only for CarPlay. There's also one version for simply Android and also one that has dual functionality for both CarPlay and Android audio. But that one's a bit more expensive, I believe. It comes in two different colors, white and black, and I got the black version. So let's just take a look inside. So just to let you see, this is what the box looks like. We're gonna take it out. And inside there is the transmitter, which is a small little box that has the CarPlay logo on it. it has some vents on it maybe to keep it cool. And also it has a USB-C port in the front. Okay, so I'll put that there. And it comes with two cables. This one is a USB-C to USB. And I guess this one here is a USB to USB. Uh, they're both USB-C's. They're quite short. It's probably about um, three inches or six inches long. Uh, so there we go. That's really what's in the box. And my car uses the USB connector to connect to the audio system. And this one here connects inside and that's it. So I'm going to show you, try to show you a demonstration of it working in my car uh, to see how it works. Uh, and then hopefully uh, you'll get a better understanding if whether or not this device is something for you. So here we are with the device and I'm going to connect this to my car as a demonstration. Now remember, a lot of the new cars actually have wireless CarPlay connected to the system already. And in that case, you don't even need this device. But if your car is like mine and you require the lightning cable to connect to your phone and then connect it to your car, then this device might be for you. Okay, so we have it connected to the dongle and we're gonna connect this piece to your car. And we're just gonna give it a second. So right here, there is a blue light that tells you that it's connected and the power is on. It's reading the USB and CarPlay is on. On my phone, I'm gonna show you how to connect it. So on the Bluetooth screen in your iPhone, uh, I'm gonna pair it here. I'm gonna say not allowed to sync and it should be ready now. It says use with CarPlay, so I'm gonna say yes to that. So I'm gonna put my phone down and I'm gonna press CarPlay and you're already up and running. So this interface should be quite familiar to those using CarPlay. It's quite fast, there's no real delay that I could discern. Um, and then let's click on some things that you might be using often. So how about something like the um, music app on Google? So this is Google Music. Uh, I'm going to just pick anything like maybe low-key vibes. And let's just try some music here. So it's pretty quick. Uh, let's uh, press pause. So there was a little bit of delay there, which you probably saw. I'm going to click on next song now. And pretty quick, loading up the next song. It's probably going to be a delay again. Yeah, so there's a delay. Uh, let's switch over to the maps now. So here's a map and let's uh, search for a place. So we're in Toronto. So we're going to test for, say, Wonderland. 
Wonderland. All right, so that was pretty quick as well. Head north toward Markland Street. And it's already loaded up. All right, so the other thing that you guys might have wanted to see is how fast does this thing actually load up uh, after you've already set it up and you turn off your car and you turn it back on, how fast does it take? So let's try that. Stop the car. I'm going to power off the system. So everything is off right now. And my phone is here and I'm going to just leave it on the car holder. Let's turn on the car. Okay, so it's loading, loading up right now. It says phone, so it's not connected yet. Um, the device is connected though. Let's give it a couple of seconds. So reading USB and the CarPlay sign is on, which means we should be connected. Let's click on that. So it is waiting to load up actually. So let's give it a few more seconds. All right, so we're back at the map section. Uh, we're back at the interface and let's click on maps. And there we have it. So we're all good. All right, so that was a pretty good uh, demonstration, I think. So for you to kind of get an idea of how fast the interface is and whether or not um, or how fast it takes to connect to your phone when you boot up your car. So there you have it. There was a demonstration of the CarPlay wireless transmitter. I hope you liked that demonstration. Hopes you get, hopes it gets you a better idea of whether or not this product is for you. So stay tuned for some perspective views of the product. Take care and stay safe.